What's up everybody? Welcome to Vaughn's Kitchen. So today we're gonna to be making a how to make smoke flavored collard greens without meat. Um, it's pretty simple, it's not really that hard. A lot of people would be thinking, well, how can you get it to taste like, you know, it has meat in it without meat in it? And that's why I'm here to show you. So let's dive deep in it. Okay, so before I start cooking the collard greens, I like to cut up some vegetables and saute them for a good two to three minutes, just to kind of get some, some type of flavor going on. I mean, you can throw raw vegetables in there, like, you know, your peppers and onions, but I like to saute them a little bit. So what we have here is a green pepper, we have a red pepper, um, we have an onion, and we have some garlic bulbs. So I'm gonna start off with the garlic. Start dicing these up. main ingredients to this smoke flavor collard greens is going to be the liquid aminos which is like a sweet sauce alternative and smoked paprika which I have the liquid aminos here and the smoked paprika here good for your garlic is definitely good for you so Oh, you want to dice these babies up right here, the green pepper, man. Green peppers provide a nice flavor to stuff, you know? Um, we're gonna set these to the side. Yeah. Oh, look at those, oh, good. Nice pieces right there, nice pieces. And then we have a tomato. I don't like to keep the seeds and stuff in it, so normally what I do is I cut it in half, and I cut this out. I cut this out, so. So normally it looks like this when I'm done. I just don't prefer to use that piece. I'm not saying you can't, nothing's wrong with it, but I just choose not to. So we're gonna slice those. start smushing it. <laughs> That's like the worst. It's almost a bit annoying. So now we have most of the vegetables done. Um, and then I already have some onion cut up. Um, so the next thing you wanna do is heat up your stove with two tablespoons of oil. Um, any oil is good, but I recommend that you use grapeseed oil. Um, I'm not a fan of vegetable or canola oil because um, it's really not that good for you. So me, I tend to use things that's a little more healthier. And grape tea oil is definitely number one for me. So let's go. Okay, now it's time to throw the vegetables in. We got the oil heating up. Mm. I wish I could smell this. It smells so good. I know y'all can imagine all this aroma going on right now. Um, what I tend to do is add a little bit of salt, a few pinches. Mm. Salt just brings the smell out even more. Time to put the greens in. You can do it by hand. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Hopping food. You want to rinse off, rinse off all your vegetables, really. Not even just your greens. You want to make sure you rinse off all your food, especially when buying the fresh, because you don't know how many people touch it with their hands. Then. Then, you know, they drink to come your drink, you just cook and stuff. So best thing you do is just wash it. Um, and then again, a little bit more salt. And then, yeah, just like that. 
And that's, that's all there is to it for now. So we put a top on this and kind of let it cook down a little bit. And then we come back in five minutes. Okay, so now we back. Then your green should be looking like this. Now we add the last part of the process, liquid amino. Throw it in there. Yeah. The paprika. And then here's paprika, salt, and black pepper. Get out of stir. Mm. Smell like meat already. Mm. Wow. So good. And that's how you make smoke flavored collard greens. And that's how I make smoke flavored collard greens without meat. I appreciate everybody for watching this video. If you liked it or if, it, if you found it helpful, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you're new, subscribe to the channel. Also, give me some feedback in the comments below. Let me know what I can do to improve. I appreciate everyone for watching, and I'll see y'all soon.